Hi, this is Doug with Megaport. During this video, I'll show you how to create an Oracle Fast Connect using both the Megaport and the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. An Oracle Fast Connect provides secure connectivity into the Oracle Cloud, and with this exercise, we'll be providing direct peering connectivity to Oracle Cloud's infrastructure. This will allow your company to self provision and connect networks securely using a reliable, low latency network with guaranteed throughput to Oracle Virtual Cloud Networks, also known as VCNs. You could build and run a wide, wide range of applications and different services in a highly available hosted environment from your on-prem data center to the Oracle Cloud environment. So let's get started. From your Megaport portal account, you will provision a virtual cross-connect to the Oracle Cloud from either a physical Megaport or from a Megaport Cloud Router, also known as an MCR. The difference is a Megaport is a physical port to which you would cross-connect to for access onto our network, and an MCR is a virtual Layer 3 router hosted on our network. We'll go ahead and use a 10 gig Megaport, which I've already created, and create the virtual cross-connect to Oracle. You could either select Oracle from here, or go to the plus connection and select Oracle. We'll click on Oracle. And we'll need to apply an Oracle Virtual Circuit ID. This OCID comes from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure account. So let's go to the Oracle portal and deploy the FastConnect to generate that OCID. So I'm already logged in and similar to Megaport, I'm at my dashboard. By default, I have the Ashburn Cloud region selected for Oracle. I can choose whichever region I need based on my requirements for the cloud region I need to get to. Let's look at identity and compartments. A compartment is used to keep your networking and network resources organized. I already have some compartments created to choose from, so I'm going to go right into networking. From here, we'll get started creating that private connection to Oracle, also known as a fast connect. I'll click on virtual cloud networks. And you can see here on the left, I have a compartment chosen already for my virtual cloud network that we're going to create, also known as a VCN. I'll select create virtual cloud network. We'll give it a name. I could choose to create virtual cloud network only or create virtual net cloud network plus related resources. If I choose plus network resources, Oracle will provide a CIDR block. This is private IP space for me to deploy this environment, default routes and available subnets for this VCN. Then I click on create virtual cloud network. And close. Next we'll move and move down and create our dynamic routing gateway. Think of the dynamic routing gateway, also known as a DRG, as the gateway that you're going to peer with from your on-prem network to get into your virtual cloud network. We'll select create dynamic routing gateway. We'll give it a name, we'll call it DRG1, and then select create. You can see the DRG is being provisioned and next we'll want to create the fast connect to attach to that DRG and VCN we just created. So we'll click on fast connect and then create connection. We're gonna to choose to connect through a provider and that provider is of course Megaport. Select continue and we'll give our fast connect a name. You can see it's already in my compartment. Then we'll choose a virtual circuit type of either private or public. For this exercise, we'll choose private. And we're gonna associate that to our dynamic routing gateway that we already created. Select a bandwidth, either one gig or 10 gigs. For this exercise, I'll choose one gigs. 
and then we could enter the IP addresses that'll be used for BGP peering. I'll just use the ones that's shown in this example. And then the customer BGP ASN. We could enter a public ASN that's registered to us or a private ASN. For this exercise, we'll use a private ASN in the range of 64.512 to 65.530. We'll use 64.512. Select Continue. And here we have that OCID number that we need to copy and take back to Megaport to enter into the Megaport portal to create and complete that fast connect connection. So let's apply that OCID as requested. You can see now that it's verifying the OCID. Once the OCID is verified, it will give us two locations in Ashburn to connect to Oracle on separate routers. This provides resiliency and meets Oracle's requirements for their SLA. Let's go ahead and select the first one. Select Next. Here we'll give our connection a name. The invoice reference is optional, and then a rate limit. You can see it has a max of 1,000 megs because that's what we selected on the Oracle site. The preferred AN VLAN. The AN VLAN is the VLAN you will assign on your network equipment for this unique peering connection. You can allow the Megaport portal to auto-assign it, or you could apply a VLAN of your choice. Let's, uh, let's pick a random VLAN, say 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll leave our port tag so we can have multiple services available here. Select Next. Here are summary details of everything we just entered. If we want to change anything, we can select the back key. I'll select Add VXC. And you can see my Fast Connect is here. It's in design mode under the mega port that was already created. Next, we'll select Order. And once we select Order, we get this pop-up that's going to confirm our price, $100, confirm our term, and there are no terms on virtual cross-connects, and give us our global services agreement to download. We'll select Order now. And it'll take about a minute for this circuit to be deployed. And once it's deployed, you'll be able to go onto the Oracle portal again and see the completed connection at layer two. So to summarize, we created the VCN, the DRG, and FastConnect in the Oracle portal, applied the Oracle Cloud ID back in the Megaport portal, and this is gonna establish the layer two connection to Oracle. Now you can use the layer three peering info and set up your BGP peering to start working in your Oracle virtual cloud environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.